Yeah, hello all. Yeah, yeah hi. Hi, yeah. welcome back. So here we have gone through four points. So now let us move through the next point, which is nothing but to create the vendor. What is that? Creation of vendor. Vendor. Main who is the vendor? Who supplies material? Yes, vendor is nothing but the one who supplies material to the company. As we have already discussed, if customer place an order to the company and if the company is not having the material, purchase requisition will get generated in the third party process, then it will turn it into purchase order, then that purchase order will be sent to the vendor. Here the vendor is nothing but the one who supplies the goods. So here we are creating the vendor also. Okay? Okay. So for which we use the transaction x k 0 1 so this is the transaction we use to create vendor master mm. okay okay so now let me use the transaction here x k 0 1 and here let me give the vendor so here what is the vendor name we can give vendor underscore a is it okay okay and here we have to give our company code what is our company code m100 okay and our purchase organization is m100 mm. right Mm. And here account group is triple zero one. Mm. So as we are having the account groups for the customer master, mm. here for the MM uh, consultants also they will maintain the account groups for vendor master. Mm. So here we need not to go through the entire configuration of the account groups as we mm. are not the MM consultants. So if I take the MM classes at that time, I can explain you all these things. But for now, we are going to use the standard account group for the vendors, which is nothing but triple zero one. Okay. Okay. So mm. now let me press enter. See here enter a number between this one to this one. So here the vendor number we have to give instead of name. Mm. Okay. As we can see that in the customer master creation also, mm. in the number ranges, we can define the number numbers, right? As we can define either yeah. numbers or alphabets or alphanumeric like that. Yeah. So here for vendor creation also, the MM consultants will define all these things. Mm. But anyhow here, we have to give the number. Okay. So now let me give the number as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. 5, 6 is. Okay. Okay. So here okay. let me fill the mandatory details here. The name of the vendor is. Let me name it as. Alcom Vendor. Underscore 1. Okay. okay. So here search term is vendor the score one and we can give the street and postal code all these things. So here I am filling only the mandatory details. So here the country is India and here see in account control what is it asking? Account control. Customer, right? Mm. So here, then the next one is trading partner. So mm. these are all the things which will be controlled by the MM consultant. Mm. So what the field has to be there and how the field has to be behave, 
that's what will be controlled by the account groups of the vendor master right mm. like we are having the same thing there in the customer master mm. okay so now here let me give the reconciliation account so here i am differentiating the reconciliation account as i will give 160000 instead of 140000 mm. that's what which i have given to the customers So here for the vendors, I am giving the reconciliation account as one lakh sixty thousand. Okay. Is it okay? Yeah, okay. And see, here there is one more mandatory field. It's nothing but cash management group. Mm. So here you can give any of these cash management groups. But now let me give the domestic one. So here I am giving the group as A one. Mm. Okay. Mm. and let me go back here once and let me see if any mandatory fields are there okay so now let me go through the next tab here and here also no mandatory fields are there right yes yeah. and let me go through the next tab here here what is the dunning procedure I already dunning have explained you while I was creating the material master. Dunning means remind us. Reminding the customer about uh, payment. Yes. Uh, payments. Yes. So here we can assign some dunning procedure to the vendor. Hmm. But anyhow, as it is not the mandatory field, I am skipping that. And here, see, order currency is there, right? Okay. Hmm. So here the currency is. Let me give the currency as INR. Okay, and now let me save it. So here the vendor triple six double six has been created for the company code M one hundred as well as to the purchase organization M one hundred, right? Mm. So now we have completed how many steps? Five steps. Mm. So now let us move to the step six. Mm. So here it is nothing but let us create a new material. Mm. Okay. Okay. So if we create a material for the third party process, mm. so what is the key thing in that material? what is the key control in the material master which we can make it eligible for the third party process may know what exactly that one which i already have explained you on yesterday item category item can you find the field item category in the material master no 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 item category group Yes, item category group. Mm. Okay. Mm. So, what is the item category group which we use for the third party process? B N S. B A N S. N S. Mm. Okay. So now mm. let us go through the creation of the material master. Mm. Okay. So here, what is the transaction we used to create the material? Yum yum. Zero. Zero one, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And now create the material. What is that? Let me give the name as third party. Okay. Third party underscore one. So here industrial sector is pharmaceutical, and the material type is finished product. Okay. and here which i would like to copy from another material but anyhow let me create it now see here the plant is m100 and the storage location is m103 and sales arc is m100 distribution channel is m1 and here base unit of measure is bottle and here mrp type uh, material group and let me name it as third party material right mm. 
So here let me go through the other tabs. And here the text classification of the material is 0. And here availability check is 0, 1. And here the loading group is triple zero one. And let me give the C. Here in the purchasing tab. Okay. What is that? In the purchasing tab, we have to give the purchasing group. So now here let me give the purchasing group as something like triple zero. Mm. Okay. And the main thing here is in the sales are the two view what we have to do mm -hmm. we have to give the item category group as what is that bns bans mm -hmm. bans is used for third party item, third party item. Mm -hmm. okay so now let us move to the next tab So here, purchasing group is mandatory for third party items. So here, let me give MRP type as TD and MRP controller as triple zero and lot size as mm -hmm. yes. Let me give plan of delivery time as one day and mm -hmm. schedule marginal key as triple zero. I think you are aware of all these things, how to create that. And if you are not aware, yeah. you can go through the video where I have explained you how to create the material master. So in which you yeah. can see how you can do that. Okay. So now let us go through accounting one, accounting two and costing. See here valuation classes. 3100 right yeah. for the trading goods we use the values in class as 3100 yeah. but for the stock material we use for the manufacturing goods 79 sorry 72 uh, 72 what is that 7920 7920 Okay, so for the trading materials, we use the valuation class as 3100. So here we haven't given this, but which came automatically, right? Okay. So can you come to know, can you please let me know how it, it was populated automatically? Because we have given the item category group in the sales are the two view as BANS. Mm. So if the item category group has BANS, then automatically the valuation class will be 3100. Mm. Okay. So now let okay. us go through the next two tab. Accounting two view. Then here casting one, casting two. Then let me save the material. Okay. So here we have already created the material. Right? Mm. Then let us go through the creation of the tax code. Mm. So what is the next step here? We are going to create tax code. Tax code. Mm. Okay. So what is the transaction we used to create the tax code? It is nothing but F T X P. So this is the transaction we used to create the tax code. Okay. Okay. So now let me go through the transaction. F T X P. And here in the country we have to give our country. What is that? I N. And here the tax code. Let me give TT. 
so here i am creating the new text code which is nothing but tt okay so this is what is for input text mm. so name it as input text mm. and here the text type is what is that v input text mm. see previously also we have created the text codes right mm. but those are for output so we have created the output text codes okay but this is what is the input to text code mm. so what is what exactly the difference between output text code as well as input text code here the text type is the main difference mm. so if it is the input to text code then we use v as the text type mm. and if it is the output one we use the text type as a mm. okay but here as we are creating the input text code i have given the text type as v mm. okay and see here okay. let me click on enter and here see mws is our output text right yeah. and here input text is vst Mm. So here, let me give four percentages as the text. Mm. Okay. And now let me save it. So here, the text code TT was created. okay so i think it's better if you can note down somewhere because whenever we are taking the next session at the time we have to come to know what exactly the text code what exactly the material which we have created for this flow okay okay so now yeah. let us create the third party sales order yeah are you ready for that yeah Yeah. yeah so so if you create the third party sales order where you can able to see the purchase requisition mm. okay so anyhow we can cover this session in the next means we can cover this topic in the next session where i can mm. explain you and where i can show you how the configuration is there for the item category mm. determination as well as for schedule mm. and category determination in the same way mm. what exactly the controls are there in the schedule and category and mm. how we can determine the purchase requisition and where exactly we can find it in the sales document okay that's what we can see in the upcoming session so hope you are clear with it mm. and if you have any queries in this regard you can ask me now mm, okay thank okay. you bye mm.